Hello, welcome to the r slash Danganronpa miscellaneous podcast, and this time it's 20 questions, and today we have our guest and staff member, Momo, so say hi. Um, hello there, it's nice to meet you. Ah, wrong person! Oh, I'm really sorry! I'm really, 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 really sorry! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you're good. I love you, sweetie. Hi guys. Um I am Radical Momo, otherwise known as Hannah Wright. It's so nice to see you guys. Now, uh obviously you can see here that you I mean you are very talented, honestly. I appreciate your work <laughs> a lot. Thank you. I I love voice acting. I've been doing it for like a year and a half, I guess. Probably, right. but it's been my passion for a long time. I mean, you're pretty good. You're really good at it, actually. So I mean, I'm definitely see you. You're gonna definitely. You're gonna go get a career in that. Thank you so much. I'm <clears throat> actually going to move to LA to become a professional, and then I'll begin my brand new experience working on voice acting professionally. I hope. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think all the people on the staff I believe in you, so uh, it works out. Oh, I'll still be there. Don't you worry. It's going to be great. You're going to have a celebrity on the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> well, uh, let's let's just start off with uh, the 20 questions. So you good? All right, let's go. All right. This is question one was kind of already answered, but like, what's your name? All right. I'm Radical Momo on Reddit. And I'm Hannah Wright in the voice acting community. I go by two different aliases so that... I don't know why I go by two different aliases. I just do... Oh, wait. I actually know why. Because I made my Reddit account when I was 16. So, like, I didn't think I would be popular on YouTube. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not honestly, like... <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, honestly. Like my old, obviously, I changed my username. Luckily, before I got any notoriety or whatever on Reddit, so because I would not like it if I went by my old username. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. On YouTube in like 2011, I went by Super Mario Hannah Five. I cringe thinking about <laughs> how I used to go by that name. Yikes! That's a bit. That's a bit rough. Well, uh, should we move on to question two? All right. All right, so, like, where did you grow up? My, um, the places I've lived in were pretty wild, I guess. I was born in California, but I grew up in New York. Not the city, the state. I lived, like, quite a few hours away from the city. Wow. And I went to a private Christian school, and I made an entire Reddit post about said private Christian school. I don't regret it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting life. But then there's me in good old Calgary in Canada. Been here my whole life, and nothing huge has happened. But it's I've been nice. to Canada before. Yeah. Where? Mm -hmm. I've been there. I've been to Canada when I was like five years old, seven years old. I guess <laughs> I haven't I haven't visited Canada since I was seven. I went to Quebec the last time I went there, but I have oh, been man. to Toronto and it's really good. <laughs> well, uh, if you ever go to Quebec again, then you've got to meet Scranbets, of course. Of course, he's an awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome friend. <laughs> I agree. He's the best. <laughs> yes. All right. Question number three. Are you epic? <laughs> of course I am. Yay. Narcissistic motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, I like to say that I'm epic because um, in middle school, I had this little nickname that I had. And do you want to know what it is? Sure. The Big Epic. <laughs> I like that name. Yes. In middle school, we had like the kids and the... Big kids, I guess. I was one of the big kids. They got to have, um, they, they, they got, they got to have, like, um, their name along with a positive thing about themselves oh, in, man. like, um, that has the same letter 
as their first name. So, like, an example is Mekon the Magnificent. Ooh. Or, um, or Makoto the Mighty. Oh, man. <laughs> That's actually kind of Or, fun. um, Shuichi the Significant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's actually pretty nice, honestly. Just to have yeah. that kind of title, that's pretty cool. Kyoko the Cool. Oh, wait, that doesn't have the same letter in it. I don't care, okay? We'll, fi we'll fix it. It sounds the same. Yeah, true. Cool I'll... Kids Club. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's go to uh, question number four. So what would you say you're like mostly known for on Reddit? Well, I'm known for my voice acting. I'm known for my Miku Miku dance posts. There have even been some who tried out Miku Miku dance because of me, and that's extremely flattering. Um, I'm known for um, the little sprite comment it, comics I've made, and I've been known for being a genuinely nice person. Oh, and hating Tenko as well. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Oh man. I mean like I also you're the person who does the like the shipping posts and stuff like that, right? Where you like yes. ship the bot. Yeah. I really enjoy that series a lot actually. Yes, I, I talked to the Chiaki bot saying, Hey Chiaki, give me some awesome crack ships that I'm gonna make. <laughs> I think the, my favorite one that I did was probably Gundam and Maki. <laughs> It's funny because, like, Maki is, like, all boring and just, like, whatever. I'm a freaking assassin. Whatever. I, I don't care. And then Gundam's, like, for Dark Davis of Destruction! <laughs> yeah. Gundam was a lot more entertaining than Maki, in my opinion. <laughs> right. <laughs> just completely opposite ends on the emotion spectrum. Yes. Like, but somehow, I think it's... I think Gundam could be, like, a positive influence on Maki. Yeah, definitely. And this is coming from someone who ships Kaito and Maki, mostly. Yeah. Uh. Kaito is also a positive influence. Fuck Tumblr! Kaito is not sexist! And if you tell me otherwise, then you owe me a thousand dollars! Okay, I'm <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> what a threat. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, like, the Kaito thing, there's not even really any, like evidence that he is sexist. Are you serious? I, so they're just calling him sexist for no damn reason. There's any, no, anything crap. significant evidence to me, honestly. That is crap. That is crap. Fuck Tumblr. Yeah. Fuck the Tumblr dang and rob a fit. Fuck everything about it. <laughs> honestly, I have this, mostly the same idea. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> I mean, I think on one of the podcast episodes, I was concerned because I feel like, uh, no, it was episode number three, right? I might, like, mm -hmm. criticize the Danganronpa Tumblr audience, and I'm like, okay, I hope they don't find me. <laughs> <laughs> good move. Freaking good move. I think the yeah. only good thing I found about Danganronpa Tumblr was this Imagines blog called um, Komaida's Trash. But now it. But now, uh, I can't go on it anymore because of the stupid Tumblr adult content ban. It restricted me from going on to Komida's trash. So now I have absolutely nothing good to say about the Danganronpa Tumblr. Uh, that was a good Imagines blog, probably the best one I've ever read. I wish there was something like that. Okay, let's move on. All right, let's go to question number six. Uh, uh, like, wait, 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 wait! You, 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 you skipped number five. Oh fuck! You're right. Okay, <laughs> question number five. Why did you, so? Why did you join? Um, why I joined Reddit in the first place. Yeah. So, um, basically, I've known about Reddit ever since I was like eleven or twelve. That was, like, way too young for me to have any social media. All I had was a YouTube. And a Scratch. If you guys don't know what Scratch is, it's, um, it's a programming site for children. 
I mostly use it as social media, and the community is really good. I I still I still won't forgive myself for freaking posting BDSM clothes on freaking scratch without even noticing. <laughs> I um, I'm being serious. I actually did that, but I'll explain it later. Okay. Um. So all I had was a YouTube and a scratch. When I was 13, I got a DeviantArt account, and that was my only social media I had for a couple of years. So, I did- Oh, and a fan pop, too. But, that site's dead. But anyways, I decided to join Reddit when I was around 16 years old. Um, at the time I was 16, my main fandom was Fire Emblem. Ooh. Oh, that's rough. I already know where this is going. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I, I had a good time there. But, like, so, I, I was looking around uh, Reddit because I was interested in getting an account. The only two reasons I wanted to get a Reddit account was because of r slash Fire Emblem and that one Reddit post that was like, do you guys take your 3DS slash 2DS with you to the bathroom? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I laughed my head off reading it because I love myself some good potty humor. Oh my god. That's why I love Nekomaru so much. <laughs> Funny Nekomaru's yeah. underrated. Are you serious? Yeah. Why don't people like buff dudes? No, I mean <laughs> like I feel like a lot of people like Nekomaru, but like not like there's not many people who have like favorites as Nekomaru, so I'm like, oh, Nekomaru is S on my tier list. Yeah, I don't know if he's S on my tier list, but I definitely appreciate him. He was really funny. Yes, is <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite Danganronpa quotes is from Nekomaru. Yeah, yeah. Those those were my two main reasons I joined Reddit in the first place. Yeah. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my older posts are from either r slash Fire Emblem or r slash Fire Emblem Heroes. Those were like the two subs that I mained a lot. Right. And I've learned a couple of unwritten rules about r slash Fire Emblem Heroes. And right. one of them is do not post your tier list on Fire Emblem Heroes. You <laughs> will get shunned like a lot. If, if you have like, a, a popular waifu if you have her in like trash tier like how like what i had because like i didn't like azura that much so i had her in like trash tier and i got a lot a lot a lot of shit for it so don't post your opinions okay you will get a lot of shame for it so if you make a fire emblem heroes tier list about the characters you like, fucking keep it to yourself. Or post it on DeviantArt. I don't know. But, yeah, don't fucking do it. Oh and my goodness. If I tell you not to fucking do it, don't fucking do it. Because I know from experience. I'm not an r slash Fire Emblem Heroes virgin, you know? <sighs> oh that was a mouthful. God. Oh my god. Alright, next question. All right, so we're actually going to do number six this time. I'm not skipping over anything. <laughs> All right, so it's like, is there any, like, meaning behind your username? Like, how did you come up with it? Okay, I have an interesting, uh, I have an interesting thing that I came up with my username. So, um, on Reddit, I was about to get my account, but I was like, ah, I can't think of a dang username for myself. I had a couple of OCs at the time, and I wanted to identify myself with one of those OCs. So I was thinking, maybe I could use the OC Hanabi. I had a character named Hanabi. Right. So, um, so I, I decided to go with Hanabi, but I was like, mm, that sounds a bit too Japanese for my liking. I mean, I was a huge weep back then, right. but like, there were people that would... It, it was Reddit, so I felt like people would shun me for being a weep. So I, I was like, mm, maybe something less Japanese. Momo, I'll do that. So hey. I, I needed something to go with Momo because I can't just use Momo because that would probably be taken. And I didn't want to use like random numbers because that's 2007. Fucking right. penguin. But like, um, 
But like, so I decided to go to a username generator. I'm just like, I've ran out of ideas. I surrender. Let's go to a username generator. So we went on to a username generator and I entered Momo. And one of the, one of the, one of the suggestions, all the suggestions were extremely cheesy, but there was one that sta- that stood out. Radical Momo. I was like, ooh, cool, radical. I I don't know anybody that really uses it. Literally uses the- radical. Yes. It's it was so radical. So um so I got my u so um so I entered the username. It wasn't taken. Woohoo! And that's Yay. how I got my start on Reddit. Oh, that's really nice. My first nice. post on Reddit was deleted, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next question. All right. That's an interesting story. But uh, question number s- uh, seven, right? Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, with Reddit, right? Would you do you have any like goals or any dreams, like anything you want to reach for? Well, um, once I become a professional, I do want to post on uh post on like the anime subreddit, the anime dub subreddit, or like specific anime subreddits. Being like, if I if I ever like if i if i ever like become the official voice actress of like a character i'll be like hey guys hey guys hello reddit hello reddit i have come to announce that i am the voice of this character Woohoo! <laughs> and i bet people will be like bull crap it's hannah wright who has done this character not you and i'm like excuse me it fucking excuse me i am hannah wright you bick don't freaking <laughs> Well, I won't actually say that because I'm a nice person and that's all. Unless there's a dub hater in the group. And Don't like, no. freaking interact with me if you're a dub hater. Okay. Um, but like, um, but but with all that aside, um, I'll be like, oh, that's a mistake. Well, no, it's not a mistake, but I'll be like, Hi, sweetie. I'm Hannah Ray. It's nice to meet you. I just went by Radical Momo because I was a 16-year-old wee back then. <laughs> uh, I'm still kind of a weeb, but less of a weeb. Okay, next question. Uh, well, actually, before that, I'm going to say, like, if I ever was got famous or anything like that, I would probably, like, put on my official Twitter, I'm like, oh, by the way, my name is you slash Grax on Reddit, and that's it. Mood. Yeah, and see how many people like look up, look me up and stuff. All right, let's go to question number eight. So, uh, just a few general questions before Danganronpa. So, like, what's mm-hmm. your favorite genre of music? Okay, my favorite genre of music. Um, I like a lot of genres. Uh, I think my favorite genre is probably to explain how much of a weeb I am, J-pop. But I, but but a lot lately, I've been listening to kind of less J-pop. And more like um, American pop, I guess. I'm not being a normie. I'm just like, I don't know. I just really like American songs. Right. Not the ones about twerking, though. <laughs> but like, like even then, I still find twerking to be really funny for some reason. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but even then, um, I still like hearing a lot of uh, American songs. Yeah. I mean, there's not much there Canadian are, songs for me. So. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good American singers that don't write songs about twerking, and a lot of people tend to overlook them. Yeah. When it comes to modern artists, at least. There's a lot of very underrated uh, artists out there. Mm-hmm. I so, speak of, wait, speaking mm-hmm. of artists, right, might as well answer the next question along with this or whatever, if you need to. But mm-hmm. uh, just like, Anyone you prefer? Any particulars that you prefer in that genre? Um. So my one of my some of my favorite song artists in um the in the um in in the J-pop thing, I guess. I like a lot of more obscure artists, like artists that um that like uh aren't really well known in Japan, because like they're so niche. That even otaku don't know who they are. 
but they are quite popular like outside of japan i guess for whatever reason <laughs> it's like to the point where i'm like oh my god i love this song so much it's so adorable where the fuck is it give it to me internet <laughs> oh my god yeah like I really like songs with like cutesy vocals and stuff like that. And um when it comes to like female vocals, I guess. I I I I like to listen to a lot of songs. Most of the songs I listen to have female vocals. And it's always been like that. And it's kind of funny to think about it for me at least cuz like when I was 14, I is, I I I've always felt like i was straight right and like um and like at the same time i would like obsess over like cute girls and stuff like that i'm like oh my gosh the girl's so cute ah! like it was so it was it, 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 it i had like a lot of waifus and i didn't even think about it Bro, oh my god yeah, and I would always, I would always, 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 always have a cute girl as my profile picture on fan pop. Like, I would never have a male character, just cute girls. <laughs> okay, um, for American songs, um, I like, um, I get, I, I really like, uh, 80s music. Right. So much. I didn't even grow up in that generation. I just really, really like the sound of 80s music. My mom grew up in that generation, though. Gen X kids. <laughs> Not oh me. I'm a Gen Z. I didn't grow up in that generation. But even then, she most of the stuff that my mom experienced was in the 80s. And that's probably why the 80s is her favorite generation of music. And mine, too. <laughs> Honestly, 80s music is... It's really good, honestly. It is. Um, uh, one of my favorite one of one of my favorite uh eighties song is like Kiri from Mister Mister. It's a really good song, and it for some reason it reminds me of the fun times I've had as a child, and I love it. <laughs> I'm a rock fan myself, and honestly, there was some good music, good rock music. <laughs> god <laughs> well uh let's go on to question number 10 <laughs> all right yeah. this is people say this is like a really hard question but like what's your favorite game of all time um well i have uh i have a top four favorite games no top five and that is um danganronpa persona 4 fire emblem Super Mario, and Ace Attorney. Oh, man, good list. I like all of those. Really? That's so cool! <laughs> well, except for, like, Persona, I haven't actually played it yet, but, I mean, like, I've really wanted to get into I've only, it, so... I've only... I've, I, I've only, uh, played Persona 4, and, and what... And by that, I meant, like, watch the anime, but I still consider it to be one of my favorite game series. Because I'm just a fan, I guess. People who watch the Persona 4 anime are still valid fans of Persona 4, and you can't tell me otherwise! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, a lot of times as a kid, I just watch, like, walked, like, uh, Let's Plays on YouTube and consider myself a fan of that game, even though I, even if I haven't played it. I mean, that's, that's valid. I, 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 speaking of Let's Plays... For some r I already know what my very, very, very first Let's Play I watched on YouTube was. And you want to yeah. know what it is? What? Wily 1080's Let's Play of Jumpstart First Grade. Oh. That Wait. was my very first Let's Play <laughs> that I, I watched. Wait, hold up. Jumpstart First Grade? I feel like I've heard that before. Hold on, let me search that up. Yeah, it was a... Uh... The Jumpstart series was, like, a big part of my childhood. Oh, this thing! This CDs! These CDs! Oh my god, I remember. I ah, had a that's so cool! I had a lot of these. I, but for some reason, I think it was, like, a grade 6 one. Grade 6 disc, but I was, like, terrified of it, because it involved, like, scary monsters and ghosts. And I oh. saw that when I was in, like, grade 2. And I was like, oh, oh it's so god. scary. Oh, I mean, like, it is for middle schoolers, after all. It, it, it isn't really 
that suitable for like little little kids i guess right i think yeah i think like the um i think i think like the um the highest grade level i've had was fifth grade Ooh. Mm -hmm. i never thought it'd actually be like never thought i'd ever hear this game again but here we are there we go i brought back some memories yay <laughs> yay I always tend to do that for some reason. I mean, I did binge watch a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of videos about like, um, an American TV channel that I watched a lot as a kid. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't regret anything. Oh my. <laughs> That's actually really cool that actually got to, uh, got to remember an old game. I never, thought, <laughs> I never thought I'd think about it ever again, but here we are. Yeah, same. But then, um, then a friend of mine, uh, he messaged me and he said, "Yo, what's your favorite? Yo, what was the game that you really liked uh, when you were a kid?" And I was like, "Hmm, I think one of my favorite computer games when I was a kid was probably Far Out Field Trips." And then I um th then I looked it up and showed him an example. I was like, "Oh shit, I remember Jumpstart." <laughs> oh my. Well, uh let's go to the last general question of question 11. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a really yeah. weird question, but uh what's your favorite drink? Apple juice. <laughs> Apple juice is good. Yeah, it's kind of childish, I guess. But yeah, my favorite drink is apple juice. It's not yeah. beer. It's not uh wine, I guess. I um would you like some cheese with that wine? <laughs> <laughs> with that um with what I just said, um when I was like a little kid, I was like really whiny, I guess, in school and at home. And like uh one of my babysitters, um she had she had she had like the she had like these like treats um that she would bring to class and um and, and like and like uh every time i felt kind of upset she right. would she would say would you like some cheese with that wine and i would oh it would always cheer me up every single time i heard it <laughs> oh, that's very wholesome it is i love it I mean, my favorite drink, I think I said in the first episode, but my favorite drink is cola, so I mean, like, I'm Ooh, not any... cool. My yeah. brother's favorite drink is probably Panta Orange. <laughs> yeah, Panta! Orange is really good. <laughs> I think, actually, the funny thing is, like, I think I mainly like cola because of the taste, but also because it, like, refined it more. Because, uh, in One Piece, there's that one character who really likes cola. If you've ever watched One Piece? Uh no, I have oh, never yeah, watched One Piece, and oh. and this is coming from someone who watched a fuck ton of anime. I haven't watched One Piece or any of the other popular ones. I haven't watched My Hero Academia. I haven't watched Attack on Titan. I haven't watched Bleach. I haven't watched Naruto. And and at the same time, I've watched a fuck ton of anime. So whatever, bro. I think One Piece was probably my first anime I really got into, and like one cool. character, like his thing was that he really liked cola, so it, like. I don't know, it made me, like, more proud that I like Cola. And he yes, like, eh. that's so sweet. And I think, the, I think the anime that got me into anime, don't laugh at me for this, is Lucky Star. I honestly don't, I haven't watched much anime, honestly. Like, as much, but I do watch, like, a, quite a few mainstream animes, so. I honestly that's do cool. not, yeah, I don't know Lucky Star, so. <laughs> and I'm surprised, because Lucky Star was, like, really big in the late 2000s. Yeah. Like Haruhi Suzumiya. I heard that Haruhi Suzumiya was like really, 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 really big in the late 2000s. Like, you couldn't go anywhere in the anime community without seeing her. I mean, I, I watched it during the early 2010s, but like, so I was a little late, but not too much. And then, and then, uh, and then move forward to the late 2010s, and then she's like nowhere. Oh my. And that's, kind of disappointing for me at least because like uh i heard on twitter there was this one person uh they cosplayed her he's and like 
there was this one person and and they were like oh i really like your anime school girl outfit and oh my god that made me so sad because oh my god it just brought me brought so many memories for me and it's sad that not very many people know what it is today i hate growing up honestly i think like in the 2000s right i didn't get into anime till like 2010s because in the 2000s i think i was like boo anime is for weebs but so i got into i got into anime in 2012 yeah mm -hmm. i think i was a I bit was, later than that yeah i was like 12 when i first got f first watched lucky star which eventually got me into anime well, that's cool well uh this is to question number 12 so who is the best girl in danganronpa I have a lot of best girls. I like uh, Mikan Tsumiki, Seiko Kimura, and Kanan Nakajima are my top three favorites. Hey, all good picks. Yes, it's it, it was for for Dr. Three. I had like two big, big, big favorites. I couldn't choose one. I couldn't choose one. <laughs> I couldn't choose one fave. It was way too hard. I mean, for me, right, I think it's like, I don't know. I think everyone knows who my best girl is, so. E Buki Miyota! Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Put it together and what do you get? E Buki Miyota! <laughs> well, uh, let's go on to the... The flip side, I guess. Question number 13. Who is the best boy? Ooh, the XY chromosome, people. All right. Um, So my top three is um, Leon Kuwada, right. Koichi Kizakura, and right. Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta is just a gentleman, just a pure yes, guy. Yes, he's an absolute gentleman. Pure an boy. An honorable mention is Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. <laughs> Oh, oh <laughs> I, I really, I mean, Kaido is Kaido is such a such a fun character, honestly. In the yes, game. he's so awesome. Yeah, I love him he's so on, much. Yeah, whenever he's on screen, I'm like, yes, what? yes. He he makes me so happy. Yeah, I feel inspired. And he and like he's the main reason why um why I really like Star Twinkle Pretty Cure. Right. Cause like it reminds me so much of him. Cause like of the 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 space motifs. How does that not scream luminary of the stars? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, uh, well, let's go to uh, question fourteen. So like, out of all the ultimate titles, like, what's the best one? Um, um, from a bias standpoint, ultimate baseball star. But from not a bias standpoint, ultimate gamer. For me personally, I would definitely like Ultimate Baseball Star, but that's yes! just I really like baseball. <laughs> I mean, that's I see. That's a pretty, pretty good um choice because I remember um during the summer I just gone to Danganronpa. Right. So like I was going down to like um a community event, I guess. And I was um I, I was I was looking at um I, I there were there was like baseball going on and I immediately watched it. I was like, ah, baseball! Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Yes, and um, yeah, everything was really fun. Oh, that sounds like, really it was, nice. It was at it was at like the playground. I would always fool around at. Now that's like the best that's the ultimate epic ultimate epic <laughs> oh wait i didn't even realize that i didn't even realize i made that joke but i did well uh let's go on to question 15 then uh yeah it's if so if you could make a new ultimate title what would that be isn't it obvious it should be obvious it should be very 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 <laughs> obvious is it by chance make an ultimate voice artist? Yep! Ultimate <laughs> voice actress! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's, that would be perfect. Honestly, 
a character with that ultimate would be a perfect ultimate because literally it would be the voice actor technically voicing themselves. Yes, a voice actor voicing a voice actor. That would be vocal <laughs> realism. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, on and probably like that voice actor is going to give it give it his or her all and just like be such like really good voice acting and stuff like that, and he'll be such a I'll great give it my all. Woohoo! <laughs> But he's such a great character, honestly. I actually kind of hope that if another Danganronpa game comes out, there's got to be an ultimate voice actor. I agree. Something meta like that would also work. Like, ultimate director, that would be funny. Alright, we're on uh, question 16. And I, I'm pretty sure you've watched DR3, considering... Yeah, I have. If, if, I, yeah. if I haven't watched DR3, then why is Seiko and Koichi, like, two of my faves? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty Just sure think you about watched that. DR3 because of that. But uh <laughs> how would, Yeah, basically. So, yeah, you know you know the plot, so that means how would you prevent the killing game from happening? Okay. Um I'd probably kill Junko and Hiroshima. Not really. <laughs> I'm not a murderer. I don't I don't condone Please don't kill me. But like um how I would prevent the killing game from happening. Um I'd probably be like, hey guys, let's all go to my high school! Except for you, Juko and Ashima, you suck. And let's all have fun together! Woohoo! 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 Woo! <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Oh my god. Everyone except Junko, and honestly, that still works for her, because I would need despair, so. Yeah. Leaving Junko <laughs> behind, that would be the ultimate despair. Right. I would even bring along my least. I would. I would even bring along my least favorites because I'm a nice person. Because I mean, they haven't done. I mean, they've done wrong, but I mean, like they. <laughs> they haven't done anything truly, I guess, in quotations, wrong up to this point. So, yeah, that's a good plan. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. Questions number seventeen. This is. So if you had to choose, honestly, and there is a loophole, but let's try not to use that, would you go hope or despair? Um, I'd probably go with hope. Yeah. Hope, 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 hope. I'm all for that hope. Come on, Nagito, let's have sex with each other to bring on the hope. Oh my god. That's a... And I'm not I'm not even sexually attracted to Nagito. I'd fucking have sex with him to to uh multiply the hope. That's 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 that would be my purpose. That would be well, my purpose. That's a huge um uh, you're huge into hope clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a big hope fan cuz like I'm an optimist. I I I I I'm all for the hope. Just, just give me all the hope. It's, it's great. It's great. Yeah, I used to be a little more pessimistic before, but I've started being more optimistic. And honestly, it's like life's so much better as an optimist. I hope Ibuki helped you be more optimistic. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Ibuki would like secured that. Well, uh, question number eighteen. This is a tough question, I guess. But uh, let's say like your favorite character just doesn't exist, right? Would you like go to your second character and still like Danganronpa, or would you probably not like Danganronpa at all? Okay, um, if my favorite character didn't exist in DR one, my favorite character would probably be Toko Fukawa. Right. And um, in DR two, my favorite would probably be Kazuichi Soda. In DR three, um. Basically, two characters are not in the goddamn anime, so I would probably like Chisa Yukizome. And um, for V3, it's an obvious choice, okay? It's a very, very obvious choice. Why else have, been, have I been screaming Luminary of the Stars for who knows how long? <laughs> 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 E3 is such a great game. Mm. So fun. 
Aquila? This is question 19, and just know that I have a heavy opinion towards this one. Is Ibuki epic? Okay, um, I kind of have a mixed opinion towards Ibuki. Um, she was kind of annoying in DR2, but in DR3, I really, really liked her. That's an acceptable response. I'll <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, to me, with DR2, I can't really do anything because, you know, like, it's up to the person, right? I can't judge mm -hmm. anyone for what yeah. they think of a character. Unless yeah, e yeah, and, like, um, every time, every time I see you in the chat, I think of Ibuki, and that makes me happy. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, I can, I can judge, but I can't do anything about it, which, which, oh well. Well, except on the server, which I can be like, okay, ban. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna ban anyone for hating Ibuki yet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now question number 20. So, since you're on the staff, it's like you're pretty close to it. So, uh, what do you think of the podcast in general? It's great. I like the advertising for it the best. Oh, man. I shouldn't have driven late at night. <sighs> I gotta go to the hospital! <laughs> it was so fun to edit, too, honestly. Yeah, uh, it was so fun to record. I recorded for all of them. <laughs> but this one was the most fun I had. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna make sure to uh, release another one, because I know I have one in... Uh, no, I don't have one in the ready, but I mean, like, I have, like... I'm excited like, for that <laughs> one! <laughs> honestly, the ads are so fun. Everything I've worked on with the podcast has just been fun. Like, everyone on the staff, I'm like, I love these guys. And uh, it's just perfect, honestly. Everything has gone so well with the podcast. Well, uh, I believe ya. Yeah. I think this is the... Yep, these are all 20 questions, right? And mm -hmm. honestly... All 20! Yep, you're the most really... You're a very entertaining guest, I'm gonna say that. that <laughs> Honestly, like I've kind of been smiling this whole podcast because I do not, I did not know what to expect, but it was honestly super Humanity fun. Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> well, <laughs> as I was saying, I was like lifting my arms in the air like Corakio did in one of his sprites. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> okay, this is well. Anyways, this has been the R slash Danganronpa miscellaneous podcast and that's with the 20 questions and uh yeah they awesome bros <laughs> well that's it